Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today what I want to do is show you how to make a document that automatically fills out for an APA style document. And what the end result should be like is much like this where a dialog box comes up, it asks for the student's name, the title of the paper, school name, you click OK, and then it fills it in. So as you can see it fills out the top part, and it also does the same for the second page. So this is what we wanted to do, and we would like to make this as a template. It is not a template right now, it's a macro enabled document, but we would also like to have it as a template so when you go file new it would show up here much like this one right here okay so this is what we're gonna do so the first thing I'm gonna do is close this because I already have another document open that we're gonna work with so I'm just gonna not save that so there's a couple of things we need to do just to begin well first thing we need to do is come over to file so this is file and we need to come down here to where it says options and then the first thing we need to do is go to advanced and then when we come down here we want to click show bookmarks because we want to be able to see where the bookmarks are the next thing we need to do is we need to go to customize ribbon and we need to make sure that developer is checked because we're going to be using the developer tab and then click OK so as you can see we have our developer tab here. So now the next thing we need to do is I need to set up my headers. And to do that I can just come up here and double click where the header would go. So if you see here's the I beam here if I just come above it and double click and you can see the header comes up. Now the very first thing I'm going to want to do is to check mark different first page. So I'm going to check that. Okay. And that's going to mean that the first page header and the second page header can be different. Once I've done that, now the reason why you do that first though, before I continue, is that if you type all your stuff in here and then check this, check this, it deletes it. And the same reason why we're going to do the page number first is because once you type something in, if you put the page number in, it deletes it. Why it does that, I have no idea. So the next thing we're going to need to do is type in running head, because that's what comes on our first page, colon, I'm going to put a space, and I'm actually going to tab over so that it's close to the right. Now what I need to do is I need to insert a bookmark. So if I come to insert, and there's a bookmark, I'm going to put a bookmark, and I'm going to call it H title for header title. And I'll click add. And we need a header or a bookmark for every place that we want this information that we're going to use to go. So now I'm just going to come out here and double click out. I'm going to get hit enter a couple times and then I'm going to hit control enter to create a new page. So here's control, hold down the control key, hit enter. And now it's made a new page because you, know, you can see here that there's nothing in the second page header and that's the way it should be. But I'm going to now double click into this header and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with a page number, top of page, the third one down, and you can see it does page two. And then I'm going to hit, whoops, and I guess I'm just going to insert the bookmark. So this would be, uh, I'm going to put make it H2 title for header page 2 title, basically. And now I'll hit tab, and it should tab it over. I'm not sure why it's... So I'm going to fix this so that it it's more flush. There we go. So now I'm going to double-click out of this. 
Okay, and then I'm going to come up to this first page, and I'm going to click right about there. And because on an APA formatted document, the title and stuff is in the middle, so that's what I'm, I'm doing here. Now I'm going to insert more bookmarks. So I'm going to insert another bookmark. So this is going to be P title for page title, and since it's the page one, okay, then I'm going to hit enter. And this is where the student's name would go. So I'm going to type in S name and hit add. And I'm going to hit one more. And the bookmark here is going to be school name. So S school. And click add. And then one more. And this is basically going to be the, the on the second page, at the very top, we put the title again, generally. So I'm going to put bookmark, and I'll call this P2 title. And then I'm going to click Add. So now we have all of our bookmark. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the Developer tab. We need to click on where it says Visual Basic here. And then we need to insert a user form. So I'm going to click that. And so this is our user form. And I'm going to actually change this. I'm going to change the name to ST Info. So student info, basically. And I'm going to change the caption, which is this up here, and it, the caption's right here, to student information. And hit enter. And now what I'm going to do is come up here and click on this, and then my control. So if you click on this form, your controls come up. And so I'm going to need a text box. Okay, and I'm going to change the formatting on this, so the font is right here. And I'm going to make this a 12-point font. I'll just leave it as Toma, Tahoma. And click OK, and then I'm going to copy and paste this. So Control-C, Control-V. Oops, control C, control V, there we go. And V again. So control V paste. And shift this a little bit. So that looks good. So this would be text box one, text box two, text box three. And then generally we want to put some labels in here. And we'll change the font of that again to 12. And of course, we want to change the caption to, so this is where we're going to put the name. So student name. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of fix this a little bit. And center it. And that looks good. And then I'm just going to control C. Copy, copy. So then here we're going to put, whoops. Here we're going to put change the caption to title of paper. And this one we're going to change to school name. And hit enter. And then we need some buttons. So these are your buttons right here. So here's the first button. And of course, I'm going to change it again to 12. And the caption to OK. And I'm going to rename this OK button. OK button. And then I'm going to copy this. All right. Maybe move this over. And I'll change this to cancel button. Cancel here. Okay. 
And then what I want to do is just kind of double click on cancel. And what we're going to say is ST info for the name of the form hide. So when we cancel, we want it to hide. Okay. So then we come back here and now we have our OK button and we click on that. Now I have some code for this and it's already been done so I'm going to come over here and just copy it and I'll provide a link to this code so that you don't have to type the whole thing. And then I'm going to paste it in here and just kind of tell you what's going on. So anywhere you see a dim that's where we're setting a variable. Okay, so I have a variable named student name. And then I say set the variable to equal to the active document booksmarks sname dot range. And then I tell it to set basically the student name dot text variable to me text box one dot values. So in our text box right here, that's right here. Okay. And then we literally do the same for the school name, which is right there. And then we have to do the same thing with all the bookmarks that deal with the title of the paper. So there's four bookmarks that deal with the title of the paper. There's the first page title. There's the second page header title. There's the first page header title. And there's the second page title that's at the top. Okay. And then I assign them all to the same text box value. I've tried to just use one variable for all of them. It doesn't work. You have to have separate variables for each bookmark. You have to have a unique bookmark for each time you want to enter the data. Generally, it should be easier than that, but that's how they do it. Then the next thing we want to do is the header on the first page and the second page all, need to be in all caps. So that's what this does. This sets them to all caps. And then the very last thing we need to do is we need to repaint the document to insert all this information. And then finally we say stinfo hide. And so then that hides it. Okay? So th those are the things that we're going to need to do. Now what the other thing we need to do as well is I need to go into this document and tell it when to load this. So if I click document, if I click from document there and it says new, so when I do a new one, that's when I want this document to come up. So stinfo.show. And then I'm going to want to save this, of course. So I'm going to save it. Um, I actually have to come back here and come back here and resave this and save as. I've got to save it as a macro enabled document. So I'm going to quick save it as that. Then come back here, go back in the Visual Basic and just make sure everything's good. Okay, everything's good. So I can save that. Now I'm going to close this. Okay. And then I'm going to come back up here to File and Save As. And I'm going to actually save it as a Word Macro Enabled Template. Okay. And we want to save it under Documents. And we want to save it under Custom Office Templates. Okay. And we want to save it as a Word Macro Enabled Template. And we can add tags and so on if we want to. I'm just going to save this. Okay. So now I can close this. Okay. Or, oh wait, yeah, I think I can close this. And if I go, well, let's close it. And we'll come open a new one here. Is this, oh, here, personal. Let's go personal. And here it is right here. So if we just click on this now. So then you open the template and you'll get this security warning and what you have to do is enable content. So you enable contact, then you write in your name, the title of the paper,
school name. Uh, click OK. And ta-da, it's done. And as you can see, it inserted everything properly. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.